rhythm shooting. The new shooting mechanic that no one took seriously, that no one took the time to learn, and that no one mastered until now. Here. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Swag back at it again with another video. And a lot of y'all have been spamming me about, about this in the comments, in my other videos, on my live streams about Swag. How do you shoot with the right stick? How are you so good with rhythm shooting? Well, I'm going to do a complete breakdown for y'all in this video. So hit that sub button, hit that like button, turn notice on, man, and let's get straight into the video. Now, when it comes to mastering rhythm shooting, the main thing you want to focus on is your jump shot. Now, obviously, having a good jump shot is key in making more shots. But for specifically rhythm shooting, I feel like it's super important for you to have a really high release height on your jump shot. Me personally, with my jump shot, as you can see on the screen right now, I have an A plus release height. Now this is super important because rhythm shooting utilizes two movements. First is holding down on the right stick to initiate or start your shot. And then once you reach the apex of your jump shot where the basketball is kind of in that pocket with your wrist bent all the way back ready to flick, that's when you start the second movement which is pushing your right stick from down to up. Now it's not just flicking up randomly, you also want to time the second movement so that when your right stick is pushed all the way up, that's when your player is just releasing the ball off his fingertips. So as you can see here, push timing is the change of the right stick from down to up. Like I said before, you want to wait until the ball is in that pocket and then change direction of the right stick from its down position and start moving it up. Now for the second part, tempo, that is the speed in which you move your right stick up. The key, like I said before, is for you to finish having that right stick all the way up on your control as your player is fully flicking the ball away from his fingertips. Now it's not as complicated as it sounds. It's one of those things where you have to practice it in games and get a feel for it. Um, it's kind of tough to practice the catch and shoots in the my court because you do get like a, a, a weird hitch and a weird catch. You can't shoot it right away in the my court. It is not like that in actual games. So please, if you're practicing in the my court, um, please don't just think like, oh bro, there's such a bad hitch in here. Like it doesn't let me shoot it right away. This is not gonna work. It is not like that on online game modes. Hopefully they fix it in the my court. Um, but yeah, when you're doing catch and shoots in the my core, you are going to have like a little hitch. So practicing in the my core, I recommend just like waiting a little bit, like dribbling, set your feet and then practice the rhythm shooting. So you get a fluid motion. But for catch and shoots, you can definitely practice in games in the park, proving grounds, rec, stage, whatever it is, um, and try to master it in there. But again, I highly recommend using a jump shot with a really high release height so you can easily see when the ball reaches that pocket of where you're about to flick it. Now, one thing you do want to know is that the visual cue of like push and release don't apply to rhythm shooting. Whether you, whether you have your jump shot cue as early as jump or as late as release, that only applies to your shooting with the X or square button. You still want to have a timing that you're comfortable with because although I do shoot all my standing shots with the right stick and with the rhythm shooting, you cannot turbo fade with the rhythm shooting mechanic. So as soon as you hold down turbo and you try to start your shot while holding down the right stick, you'll get a hop jumper animation and not the actual rhythm shot. So usually for all my midi fades, uh, which I like shooting with turbo and I use pro Two fade for those of y'all who, who want my fade, you'll see that it won't show like the tempo and all that. It'll just be like a regular game, a regular green because I'm shooting those with X. Now, another thing that I just recently learned is that you can actually use rhythm shooting with your go to shots. It is a little weird because you have to do it kind of in reverse. Um, I'll, I'll explain that right now. So as you guys know, to activate your go to shot, I'm using Jimmy Butler in these clips, by the way. You just hold up on the right stick and let the animation play out. And then you just let go of the right stick whenever you want to release the ball. Simple as not simple, simple enough. However, instead of just letting go of the right stick, you can flick it down, still following the same logic that we talked about before and activate and activate the rhythm shooting that way. Now, for all my people who love working in the post and want to add rhythm shooting to their bag, I found that there's different ways to do it. So what I found out is that while in the post, with holding right stick down and then flipping, flicking up, you'll get a different animation than if you hold up and then flick down. As you can see, I'm on the left side of the court in the post, and whether I'm facing towards the baseline or away from it, if I start my rhythm shot with holding the right stick down, then I'll fade towards the baseline side. However, if I start my rhythm shot with holding the right stick up, then I'll fade towards the middle of the court. So depending on if you start up or down, it will determine which animation you'll get and which side you'll fade to. 
now one thing i do recommend doing also which everyone should already know is one turning off your meter and two putting your shot timing profile to high risk reward now unless you have really bad internet and your game is always spiking and it's hard for you to time your jump shot because of that that is fully understandable if that's the case i recommend using low risk or normal risk but if that's not the case for you trust me and put on high risk reward this setting plus the rhythm shooting which does give you a boost plus no meter which also gives you a slight boost all these boosts make it so that it is way easier to green jump shots on this game and another thing that makes rhythm shooting so good um is the fact that at times even if you only green one half of the jump shot meaning you got the push timing right but the tempo was off because you did it too fast or too slow whatever it was you can still make the shot now mind you this is in proving grounds where the difficulty is the highest and everyone's shot profiles automatically set to high risk i don't think you would ever make a white in here shooting with x or square but i did with the rhythm shooting all over him so No, you're a ball. No. Shot. You made a white? White. You made a white? Tempo was <laughs> fucking. Tempo. You Push loser. It was a half a green. Okay. Half a green. Now, believe me when I say I was not a believer in rhythm shooting at first. At Community Day, I tested it, and I even said in my video that rhythm shooting is not going to be the way for catch and shoot. But that was because I was shooting catch and shoots in the my court, and it does have that delay when you shoot the ball, like I mentioned before. And I thought that delay was just how rhythm shooting was. So in my mind, I was like, there's no way this is going to work in like comp scenarios and pockets. Like I, I can't have a hitch in my shot when I'm trying to shoot. So this is no good. But that is not the case in actual online modes. You catch and can shoot the ball super cleanly right off the catch. No problem. And for all my guards out there who believe this new rhythm shooting mechanic is just for locks and just for poppers for wide open catch and shoots and this won't work for guards i don't believe that at all i do understand that in some cases shooting with the right stick can be tough and maybe with the shooting button is better at some times but i truly believe that the first guard to fully lock in with utilizing rhythm shooting and finding those pockets where he can shoot with it off a combo or something is going to be ahead of everyone else Mind you, I'm not a guard and I don't really know any combos or anything like that, but this is just me in the practice facility with Curry just for a few minutes trying to test out rhythm shooting off the dribble. And as y'all can see, man, it's not that bad. Now, just imagine someone with their own custom jump shot, their custom SIGs, knows exactly what combos to do to create space. All they have to do is learn the rhythm shooting and I truly believe their field goal percentages will go up. I'm not saying you guys have to use the rhythm shooting, but if you find yourself struggling to shoot consistently on this game, it really doesn't hurt to give it a try. I've seen top players say on Twitter that they tried the rhythm shooting and it's a night and day difference for them. And I've also seen other top players saying that they're never going to try it no matter what and they'll always shoot with the button. But you guys can make your own decision. The purpose of this video was to break down how the rhythm shooting works, showing the different ways to use it and the best tips to fully optimize shooting with it. It's been working for me. I'm going to continue getting better with it and mark my words, I will be known once again this year as the best offensive power forward on this game. Before ending the video, I just want to quickly show you guys a recap of an old gameplay of one of my very first game using rhythm shooting. I got to jump at that. You have a jump in my Greeny with the rain stick. Bro, I gotta let the right stick. Nah. It's actually pretty easy to green, I'm not gonna lie. With the yep. right yeah, stick. Up. Chat. I you got me laughing right stick shooting oh, after this. I ain't gonna man. lie. It's just chicken. It's, I play D. Oh, With the right stick. Oh. <laughs> Yo, it's just okay. sensational. Right. Okay. Have you have you been shooting with the right stick this whole time? No, I just started this game, the last game. Oh, what the hell? But it's chicken, brother. I might have to start might might have to start right stick shooting in the park, chat. If it's like this, two AI spark overdose. AI yeah, tempo shooting. Got that AI got tempo. That shooting on too. What two steps? Tempo. Or are you just gonna shoot it? Oh, oh, oh. Whenever we get up, Bob. Nah, child. I might be even more devious in the park now, child. I'm gonna be shooting with tempo. They're gonna be rattled. 
greeny with the, the red, red stick. Chad, it's just, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not like that. It's, it's over with. It's, the only time I'm shooting with X is with fades, like turbo fades. It's the only time I shoot. Every, every, every catch I shoot is gonna be right stick, Chad, from now on, here on out. I'm gonna flare up. I'm gonna flare up. Oh, Tempo. Okay. Ah, chat. It's looking real. Gotcha. Nah, chat. Catch and shoots. It's just like it's just smooth, bro. Bruh. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. I got four steals. Exit. I keep shooting it. I don't care. Mm. You got it knocked down. Not 23, That's not bad at all. And there you guys have it, man. A full rhythm shooting breakdown with tips to help you shoot better. My personal jump shot and fade that I use if you guys want to use them as well. Or if you guys want to use the 2K Labs premium jump shot info to find the absolute best jump shot on the game, you can use code SWAG at checkout and you do get 20% off if you guys are interested in that, link in the description. And then we also showcase gameplay of one of our first ever games using the rhythm shooting of me using it for the first time myself. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Let me know in the comments if you guys plan on testing out the rhythm shooting or you're just going to stick with using the button. And if you guys enjoyed the video or helped you out in any way, don't forget to hit that sub button, hit that like button, and turn on notice because more banger videos are on the way. And if you want my build that you, that you see in all these clips, that's the video on the screen. But until next time, man, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. God bless. Peace.